Or ladies and gentlemen, the greeting we have, as we say here, Shangalau Ban. Golden Thai and Shangalau Ban, which means like a boss. We learned it because we have many Mandarin tourists, Mandarin speaking tourists. So, uh, anyway, let's continue. So, today we're going to go over a quick system, which is basically going to be a more advanced system for block and tackle. Um, typically, what you use is you use a Prusik, uh, a catastrophe knot, take some time. But what we did here is we extended the focal point with a micro traction, and it's going to be a very quick transfer, as you'll see. Uh, so, just to look at that for a moment, what we have here, we have screws that are offset, so I have more space to make this long focal point. Um, 221 centimeters, locker and non-locker. Uh, of course, not, uh, locker being here, non-locker there. And then we have a long focal point with an overhand knot. We're actually belaying from the shelf. And this focal point, when you have something in the shelf, you're belaying from the shelf, you always have to have something in the focal point. In this case, we have the oval carabiner as recommended by Petzl and the micro traction. Um, and then we have an HMS carabiner, of course, for the, the Munter hitch. Now, I also personally have my personal anchor attached here, as we can see. Um, this is attached to the screw, just safety, making sure that you're managing your own safety going to the edge. And I have a Prusik here as well for the lower, making sure in case something happens to me that the client will still be okay. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the edge first. All right, in here, just good customer service, good edge transition, of course assisting the client over as they go over, taking out slack out of the Prusik, making sure they're leaning back, controlling their descent with the row pulling up or down. Just to show you, there's three processes, three steps we have to assist an ice climber in this situation. We can just do a vector pull here to assist the climber. We can also put a three to one, meaning we could put a hitch here, a soft hitch being a Prusik, or we can put a T block here as well after muling there. Um, the last option, if the climber is gassed and the most time intensive, is to block and tackle. Right? So let's go over that block and tackle process in a very simple way using a micro traction from an extended focal point. Okay. So what I'm going to do now, like I would do in any situation, I'm going to mule the munter here, taking a bite in my hand, going across, under, making sure to keep it as close as I can. Okay, there we go. So now, the next step after that, I'm gonna just do an overhand. Okay. Final thing you could do just for safety, pop that in the shelf, always lock locking carabiners. Okay, now what we have here is we have this micro traction, as we see here. So I'm gonna take the micro traction off. I'm gonna open it up, look at the orientation. The weight goes to the left, which is hoika. The hand goes to the right, which will be my hand. I'm gonna put that on the line here, close it. I'm gonna grab it with this carabiner. Okay, like so. Close the cam, the cam engages. Now I'm going to undo this mule here. Being careful to make sure that you have control of the brake strand once you pull this. Get it close to the end, as we see, and then we're just going to go pop it. And now we're going to give it slow, very slowly give it slack to make sure the micro traction catches. This is the time to catch any, any issues you may have before you wait the micro traction. Looks good. Okay, looking good. Okay, and the focal point now is fully loaded. This micro traction is fully loaded. The cam is engaged. I feel good about it. Okay, so now I can create just a haul system. I'm going to use a T block right now for the haul system. Now, one thing to note this is not to assist an ice climber. A micro traction or a progress capture device, whether it's a roll lock or a micro traction, whatever you may use, is a haul device. It's not a belay device. So this is only when the climber is gassed out. That's, uh, that's only time I'm going to use it. And if I'm pulling up, he's not assisting me. It's dead weight. 
because to study these, it's very important to understand a shock load could just tear the sheath on the rope or worst case scenario for a rolling lock, just sever the rope, even a very small shock load. So just bear in mind that. Um, this is only after you understand the consequences of using such as a, a progress capture device, such as the micro traction rolling lock. So now we're going to just put a three to one system on here. Now, as you can see, there's a little person on the side right here. Um, the person's going to be pointing toward Hoikud in this case. So I'm going to put him on or her on, whatever, or it, many options. Okay, now I can put the rope in there. And now this would be a three to one haul system, which is fairly efficient due to the micro traction, but I have a carabiner, so I'm losing about 50%. And I could just haul if I need to with this, right? But this, this may be very hard. So the next option we have is to put a five to one, which I'll show you quickly on this. I'm going to take out either my 120 sling or I'm going to take out a Prusik. I'm just going to tie an eight on one side. eight on the other. Now at this point what I can do is I can, I have this uh, shelf carabiner up there. I can attach this to the shelf carabiner up here. Okay, the next step what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring this down. I'm going to extend this. And always lock your locking carabiners. Now I'm going to put this on the brake strand via carabiner here, as we can see. So now this is for that client that's a little heavier than you expected. And this is a five to one mechanical advantage system at this point. So this is making the haul much easier for you. Yeah, so so there you go. So that's the basic process. Hope you enjoyed the video. There's many more to watch. So check them out. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments.